Hi, my name is Tom, and I'm going to show you a great tip on how to deploy Micro Ranger 2 quickly and easily without needing expensive equipment. To show just how easy it is to deploy, here's a great tip that we've learnt. Here's what you'll need a length of standard scaffolding pipe, one 33mm scaffold wall plate with M8 bolts and washers, and one Sonodyne MRT adapter plate with M6 bolts and washers. You'll get one adapter plate with M6 bolts with your kit, or if you need another, you can order it separately. Alternatively, you can make your own using the dimensions we put on our website at the description below. First, we secure the adapter plate to the top of the MRT. We're using M6 cap air bolts and washers here. Next, fit the wall plate using M8 bolts and attach the cable. You may find it easier to attach the cable first, remembering to feed it through the pole and the wall plate before you do. Now that the MRT is securely mounted to the bracket, you can attach it to your pole. Normally these scaffold plates come with one tightening screw, but to make sure the transceiver is secure, we've drilled and tapped two extra holes to use two extra bolts. Please make sure you check all the bolts are tight before you deploy it in the water. With the transceiver securely mounted to your deployment pole, it's ready to go into the water. As every vessel and dock side is different, you'll have to work out the safest way to deploy your system for your particular situation. Remember, once you've achieved the MRT, remove it from the mountings and wash it in clean, fresh water. To maximise its operational life, avoid leaving it in sunlight for long periods of time. If you want to know anything more about Micro Ranger 2 or have any questions, then please get in touch.